Okay, so you went to Megatronic Portal, and that's kind of as far as you've gotten. Pretty easy to make. You need a couple things. Is Draconium Infused Obsidian. If you're trying to make this, you already know how to get this. Make yourself a dis dislocator pedestal, basically. Um, if you don't know how to make that, here's your crafting recipe. Iron, Wyvern Core, Infused Obsidian. Here you get your dislocator receptacle. Next, you're going to need a dislocator. You're going to need two of them. Now, in the dislocators, the way it works is you hold it in your hand and you stand where you want this to take you. So, if I was going through the portal and I went through it like that and I wanted it to tel teleport me right here in the middle of the shop, I would either shift click or just stand here and right click. You just test out whichever one works. I've seen both work. Um, the way you're facing, the way you're looking, is the way you're going to spawn. So if I spawn, if I sat like this, shift and click, this is the way I'm going to spawn. Um, if I looked like this and I clicked, then it would spawn me right where I'm standing, the way I'm looking. And so every time I walk through the portal, uh oh, every time I'd walk through the portal, I would constantly spawn the way I was looking, the way and when I set it. So to go ahead and show you on this one, I will go ahead and grab a dislocator for you guys. So. I'm grabbing a dislocator, and I want to have it teleport me looking right here. So, stand right here, shift right click like it says, and there you go. It's synced to the way I was standing. So, you have that, that's good. Now you're going to need a couple of the infused obsidian, and you should know how to make another portal. Um, I think it's self-explanatory. So, want yourself a... Nether like portal, um, but with different obsidian. And the flip side to this is you're going to break one of the ends, either here, here, up there, down here, wherever you want it. Um, it's just we always put it here because, well, it looks. So it's in the middle, it makes more sense. So go ahead and set down your receptacle, and there's still no portal. To get one, take your dislocator that you created. I'm not doing this one, but I'll show you where that goes in a second. Take the one you set, which was us over here, right? And you can't bind it again because it was already bound. Go ahead, right click it. Well, that happens. Go ahead, right click it in your receptacle. Pop, it's in there. Now, it gave me that. Don't worry about that. So when you walk in, it teleports you the way you have set it to teleport to. And as you can tell, it teleports me the way I was looking. So I'll do it again. Like, just like that, that's the way I was looking when I shift right clicked, and so that's where it's going to spawn me. Um, so, take that back out, put mine back in, mine takes you, once it loads in, mine will take you to my shop, our shop, admin shop. Um, the nifty thing to this one is that it was double-sided portals. They do not have to be double-sided, they can be single teleportations. They don't have to go back and forth to the same location. So mine actually takes you all the way over here out of spawn over to our base. Um, and as you can tell, that's where this is. Now you can actually walk through it on both ends. It'll take you back to where it belongs. And that would be back at the shop where the teleport was designed to take you to, which is right here, right in front. And the way I did it was just the way, the same way that I set up the um, area or location of teleporting. So, to go through the portal and teleport right here where I'm standing, looking the way I was, I'd have to take a dislocator and come right here, shift right click, and then go back over to here in a different way, not the teleporter way, and then I would put it into here. And then this would create taking me over to here to get this portal to go back to the location we're going, which is here, I would come right here to wherever I want the person to teleport, which is in our little shop claim area. I would face out, that way it's sinking where I'm facing, shift right click again, go back where it would take me, put it in this receptacle, and now you have a two-way um, teleportation. You can go in, back, or out into here. Um, it's best usually as far as um, So 
some way to get back and forth. So that is usually your best way. I know there's other teleportation devices and whatnot, but this is probably your best way. There's no power involved. It's kind of just straight draconic power. Um, that's really kind of self-explanatory as it is. So you go through it, you go back, might be a little bit of delay, you can run through it. It's still gonna catch you, doesn't matter how fast you go. And that's how you set up your portal. Hopefully there's no questions of how to do that now. Laters.